Now on the third floor, I believe you do want to go up this set of stairs here if you are going for the shortest path, but I would like to go this way instead. Actually, this is going to be a pretty easy fight. As long as the Mummy Man dies to thunder. Which is always an issue. It doesn't, but everything else will definitely die. These guys are pretty weak, and that guy's pretty strong, actually. He's stronger than I had imagined, but down he goes nonetheless. We need to head through here, open up these giant doors, and head up this set of stairs here. Once again, this is optional. If I remember right, it's not even that rewarding, but it is here, so I will show it off. Plus, as usual, I could use the experience. That's kind of like the whole point of everything in this game is just to get experience. And up at the top of the tower, there's a guy that we can talk to. The crest is not actually on the top of this tower. How you doing, buddy? I've been watching the Temple of Hargon from here for a while now, towering to the sky. In the center of the continent is the great land of Rhone. However, ordinary people won't be able to travel there. I remembered circling the world by ship a long time ago, seeking clues on how to enter Rhone. Finally, I just gave up. So, we were definitely supposed to come here a while ago, and he was supposed to tell us to just wander around the world on a boat so that we could find the answers to enter Rhone, which is what we are doing at the end of the day. This should be pretty easy here. Hit the Gorgon heads with your lightning, and they should die. Should they live, though? Alondo will finish the job. And there you go. Multitasking, kind of. Or at least spreading out my attack so everything dies. Anything in... No? You didn't find anything? This giant lighthouse emitting... Whatever. We're moving on. We're gonna head back down to the third floor. It was the third floor, wasn't it? Yes. The third floor where there are a set of stairs waiting for us. As you can see, though, this is going to be quite a climb to the top, considering how much we have spent climbing just to the top there. We still have a ways to go if we're going to take the official way. So, what we want to do, I believe, is head to the south and get this treasure chest here with some gold inside. That is nice. Now... Once again, I believe this is optional. You don't need to do this if you're going for the fastest way. Let's head up, and what do I spy over here? Spy set of stairs leading further up. I do like the sound of that, but then we just go back down. So then what was the point? The point was to get this treasure chest here with the Nut of Life, which I am going to use. Everybody could use some life. But I'm going to go ahead and say that Rolando needs more. Up by five, I will take it. Really, a gold orc all by himself? I'm still going all out on this guy. This guy hurts like you wouldn't believe if he hits you. This guy is no fun. No fun at all if you let him get a turn. And we get a treasure chest with a bell amulet in it. You kidding me? I didn't even know they dropped that. I bought those so long ago. You're giving them as random drops now? I don't think there's really anything I could do with that. Holy crap. There's a lot of hands. Back down these stairs here and back to where we entered the fifth floor. We are done on the fifth floor for now. That is a lot of skeletons too. That is it for the fifth floor. Let's head back to the fourth and find another set of stairs there. These guys should be fairly simple. The gremlin should have a little bit more HP at the end of it. So let's double team on him. Down he goes and then line is able to do even more damage than everybody else combined on the skeleton. Very nice. Head back down here 
and back on the fourth floor back to where really we entered the fourth floor and we're going to head up and around as you can see there's really nothing that we can do about this giant thing in the middle here uh, but as you can see this is quite the complicated dungeon we have a gold orc here I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to finish it off we do these guys are having less and less HP, it feels like to me, but that's probably because I keep on leveling up. That is always nice. Let's head up even more. Gotta be careful. Don't want to fall off at this point. That would be bad. Let's just move on for now around the outside up to the giant doors here. Now, I believe we want to keep going to the northwest. And we can find another set of stairs here. These are the stairs that I want to go to, but I actually misspoke because I was playing wrong about Linda's new spell, which is uh, Heal All. That is actually still a single targeting spell, but it heals HP all the way in case Heal More doesn't cover it. So just an upgraded heal spell. I thought it was going to be a multi-targeting one, but that's once again my Final Fantasy logic kicking in. I'll try to remember to put a note when I actually said the wrong thing, but I can't guarantee that I will remember that. Let's move on, and here we can find a gremlin, or at least something very similar to a gremlin. Let's follow him. In here we go. There's also an old man in here, or at least a wizard-looking guy. Let's follow him as well, but... You know, first, we gotta take on these Gorgon Heads and Gremlins. These guys keep on getting in the way. What the hell is your problem? Plus, the... Really? Wasn't 22 enough before? These guys must have random amounts of HP as well. You know, right around the same spot. There is a lot of things in this game that are seemingly random. Wait, he stopped this time? Travelers, even if I reluctantly say nothing, you must follow me. Ho oh, oh. ho, it's Santa apparently. Come with me, I can guide you to the crest. There are a lot of uh, Japanese games that do assume people laugh with the ho ho ho, which I've never really understood. Now if I remember right, he heads down this first set of stairs here. No, nope, that would be wrong. But at least I, it, it told me I was wrong right away, instead of just kind of leading me in a false direction for the entire time. But there is the guy. You do have to wait for him to go off screen. You can't have him move and you move at the same time. Damn you. Damn you to hell. Luckily, I still have quite a bit of MP for stuff like that, though. Once again, another gold orc all by himself. Don't play it easy on this guy. This guy is pretty damn powerful. Actually, he didn't do that much damage this time. He still can be very powerful, though. I stick by that. Oh. There seem to be weaker enemies inside the lighthouse than what I was fighting outside. Wait for him to moonwalk backwards out of here. And down these stairs we go. You gotta wait for him to appear on screen, then stop. Watch him go. Like I can, I can guess that he's still doing this. Once again, I should have seen him as soon as I got here, but I have to take that step, otherwise they, they won't acknowledge that he was here. But if we follow him all the way over here, we can get a treasure chest and saber wolves. These guys are pretty easy at this point. They should mostly die from the thunder. Yeah, they all die due to thunder on their face which would probably kill me as well, so I shouldn't say that they're too weak because of it. Now open the treasure chest. Sure. And there was nothing inside. I tricked you, this place will be a grave. Damn it, the old man tricked us. There were just gremlins here the whole time. Just four of them. Go Firebane, go Infernos, because fire seems to do better against these guys than the lightning. So go Infernos, and we should do damage across the board here. If Firebane hits these guys, they should all die. You do want to save some MP for this. But down they all go. 
Oh, okay, sweet! Down they go! What? The Gremlins were really in possession of one of the crests! It's not how you spell possession. Anyway, Line received the Star Crest! And now we do have yet another crest in our possession. So we jump off the side! Because that is what you do when you have crests. You jump to your doom. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get in the boat here. We're just actually going to go to what I assume is the nearest town, which is actually Ratatoum, I believe, which is to the north here. I should be able to find it fairly easily here. Once again, this is a surprisingly easy fight considering how many enemies are on screen. It goes very quickly because everything more or less dies, except for that one. What the hell's your problem, jellyfish? Don't you dare put me to sleep. Yeah, one damage. That is all you are good for. And I still haven't really needed to use a prayer ring yet. This surprises me. But we are headed back to Ratatoum Castle. This should be fairly easy from this point forward. Yeah, it's just specters. Like, really? That's all you're gonna do is throw these guys at me? I think they give me six experience. I don't think I've gotten a level up off of these guys ever. They're not even giving me that much gold. I do have quite a bit of gold, just for the record. I don't think it matters which way I go from here. But it is north from here. There's the castle once again. And we are back. This is Ratatoum, just for the record, right? Ratatoum! Welcome to Ratatoum Castle. So, yes, I remember directions and town names for once. But now that we are here, that is going to do it for these parts of Let's Play Dragon Quest 2. I've been Baller Scoob. I've been joined, as always, by Prince Lime, Prince Rolando, and Princess Linda, our world traveling squad. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.